Okay, everyone. I'm here at the Compact Versario 7594 here. This computer runs with 564 megahertz based on Intel Celeron processor running with 256 megabytes of RAM and a 10 gig hard drive. And yes, this computer normally would run Windows 2000. Right now I got a different operating system just for tonight. By tomorrow it's going back to Windows 2000. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I got a special operating system I put on here for now to, to show you how good it works. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and boot it up. Before I tell you, I'm not going to tell you what it is right now. You're going to be thinking I installed Windows XP on this old poor, I mean, on this poor old computer here. Uh, actually, the reason I put this because my computer, somebody I let use, decided to change the password without telling me, then they don't know what it is. So go ahead and boot it up now. I'm going to tell you what it is, actually. This operating system is called Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PCs. And yes, I'm going to tell you about it a little bit when we get started here. Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PCs is based on Windows XP Professional and Windows XP Embedded. It uses the same login as XP and it has the same graphical user interface as Windows XP. This operating system was released in mid-2006 and it's good for, it's made for computers that um, can't run anything new. It's normally for old, it's a thin client based operating system to work on older computers for old hardware in which people can't afford to buy a new computer so they could use this on any computer with 9x or Windows 2000. Yeah, but it does load pretty quick, you see here. Let me tell you some more of the system information here. Yes, this could be upgraded to Service Pack 3, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to be normally using this operating system on this computer, because I'm going back to Windows 2000. It says, Microsoft Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PCs, version 2006, Service Pack 2. There is a Service Pack 3 available. And this computer shows all the specs, 564 megahertz, 256 megabytes of RAM, and an Intel Celeron processor. To get started, I want to mention this. <coughs> There's no internet right now. The, early, the oldest version that Windows Fundamentals for legacy PCs come with, the, the, the earliest version of Internet Explorer is... Because that's like before Internet Explorer 7 came out. Internet Explorer 7 came out in October 2006, along with Windows Media Player 11. And yep, this computer also comes with, this operating system actually, comes out with Windows Media Player 10. Which is released in October 2004. They should have kept Windows Media Player 9, but there is a way you could, but I'm, I'm going to try and see if I can get it to work on Windows FLP, because anything that's made for XP should work on here. This is pretty boring. You don't get any wallpapers. See? Look. No screensavers, just the My Picture slide showing the Windows XP screensaver. You can enable the welcome screen on this. Oops, sorry, I was holding the camera wrong here. Let me make this bigger so y'all guys could see it. Because of my camera. Pretty much there's nothing. You don't see no paint program 
or games like Solitaire, Minesweeper. And yes, Microsoft Office 2003 works pretty good on it. Like this. I just type anything. What if we get the little paper clip guy? Clip it. Oh, there he is, the little evil paper clip. Even though he tries to help. That's it for now. That's enough to show you. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you how quick it shuts down. And I was just playing around to show you how it boots up and stuff. Even though there's no programs to run on it. So, I'm going to see you guys.